This is Trendsetter of the Mine, and this is Argos. Today we're going to be talking about the movie Bird Box. Recently, I'm sure many of you have had interesting experiences where you might have gotten the stank eye for not being a victim of conformity like everyone else, or people might have avoided you and crossed the street because they see you're not a slave to the system. And some have even been flat out rude because you choose to have a mind of your own instead of wearing a mask like everyone else. Before we jump into the film today, first we'll start off with a little story, and I hope you will be able to draw the connection. Mind you, this took place in late March, early April, when there are still a lot of unknowns and there were no mandates, only suggestions. I was standing in line at the grocery store and um, you know how now we're all getting accustomed to the new normal for us plebeians to follow by and there's a tape on the ground and there's the signs and everything and there was an older lady, uh, elderly lady in front of me and she was putting her stuff on the conveyor belt and I'm staying behind and everything and as she's bending over to get something and put it on she kind of looks at me from the corner of her eye and growls, like literally growls. And at first I wanted to just give her the benefit of the doubt and be like, all right, uh, maybe she was just clearing her throat. Um, but then uh, as time went on and she went to the other side of the conveyor belt, the register where you pay, I'm still keeping the six feet distance, um, probably even seven or eight feet. And she, I put the divider and I start putting a couple of my groceries on and that's when I know it wasn't a growl out of nowhere because um, she lashes out at me and snaps and she's like, can't you read? You have to wait until you're called. It's bad enough that you don't have a mask on. Obviously she did have a mask on and I'm kind of like looking around like, did that really, is this really happening right now? And I look behind me at the people in line, about half have a mask on, half don't, like I said, it was early on, and so I just, I'm quiet, I want to be respectful, I don't want to um, cause a big scene in the middle of a grocery store, that's exactly what our controllers want from us, is to turn on each other, so then that way we're not focusing on them, the ones who instigate all the problems, so I'm just standing there, and uh, I couldn't help it, like a little bit of a smirk escaped my mouth, I lost a bit of self-control and then that's when she really let me have it and started cussing at me and again I was just like, okay. Um, so she leaves and the uh, cashier, an older lady, um, she's like, man, um, I'm so sorry that uh, you had to hear that. This whole thing is about fear, some people are just giving in and I was like, totally nonchalant, um, don't worry about it, you don't have to apologize, uh, that's her actions, that's her behavior, like, you're not responsible for that, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, I'm not going to call her out or anything, and um, so you know how you develop kind of a routine, uh, grocery stores, going to the gym, whatever, and you have small talk uh, with the customer service people, and so I tried to just jump right into that and I didn't want to give any attention to the hype and so I was like so how's this going how's that going but um, obviously she started getting emotional and um, she's like I hate being put in the middle of this and understandably it's her job I I don't want her to be in the middle of that and so uh, her supervisor her manager passed by and she's like, I need a minute, I need to go outside, collect myself. And so when her relief comes, they're kind of looking at me like, what the heck? Like, they didn't say anything, but I could see it on their face. Like, why did you make our friend cry? Um, why is our coworker leaving? What did you do? And I didn't want to, the system to escalate. I didn't want to have to explain every, anything. So I was just normal and just like, okay, see you guys. Um, just making sure I didn't forget any part of the story. Um, so anyway, 
here are three simple questions. Like, I, I knew what I wanted to say when the lady had that outburst. It wasn't one of those times when um, you look back with regret and remorse and you're like, man, I had the perfect comeback. If only I could remember this or I had that one line zinger. I knew what I wanted to say, but um, I decided against it. And just like most people who have been in the matrix for so long, I don't think it would have phased the elderly lady at all because she can't imagine life any other way than what she's been taught. Which is the same spell incantation that most of society is also under the influence of. One, first question. Do you think your government really cares about you and your well-being? Two, do you think the news never lies and every single word you hear is the truth? Three, will you comply and obey with whatever is asked of you? Even science is never truly set as new facts are discovered and the old are replaced, only in the future for the cycle to repeat. Now, if you recall, Bird Box came out the year before our virus hit and many were lost to its esoteric interpretation. However, as most things that happen in our modern era of history are planned ahead of time from wars to crises uh, for concealed purposes, this movie is like the many before it that foreshadow what is to come in our real lives. So, what is this movie about? From an objective stance, an illness causes people to impulsively commit suicide. But if you dig a little deeper, utilize the correct perspective, then the true meaning becomes apparent.